beautiful Texas, the Lone Star State. San Antonio is just like any other city. It's filled with people trying to live, love, and survive. But there's good and evil in this world. And they're fighting right now. I just pray that people open their eyes and they see the truth in Christ. And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, receive your sight. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. Each and every one of us, we have to go out and ask God what we want. He will do it. But it takes faith. It takes faith to bring change. Jesus says in Matthew 17, 20, that our faith can move mountains. It can even move our past. When we have faith, nothing can stop us from moving forward. Faith in the Lord gives us strength, hope, and courage. It brings great change. Hopelessness to hope. And it changes darkness to light. Hey, Tasha. <laughs> you got out? Yeah. Free. All right. Try this. Actually, I'm clean now. What, you get jailhouse Jesus? No, not jailhouse Jesus. I got the real Jesus. I'm saved now. Look, you look like you need some help. Go see Pastor Joe. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, it's my stool. Come on, let's go, okay? I got it, I got it. Okay, my turn. Go, 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 go. Just keep on the sock on Mr. Fancy shirt now. And go, go. Excuse me. Come on, brother. <laughs> brother? <laughs> Look, I just got out of jail. Okay, I need food and clothes. Do you have a place to stay? I am um, with my mom. I'm really sorry to hear about all that. I, I know we can figure something out. We can help you with that. That's no problem. Tasha, right? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry, Pastor Joe. So you're the pastor? Yeah, you must be our new neighbors. It's yeah, I'm Michelle. It's good to meet you. Good to meet you. I gotta go. I know you need this. Yeah.
Marcus, get that away from me. What? Marcus. T, come on, this is this is me. I know what you want. Marcus, you have no idea what I want. A lot of things happened in that jail. Like what? I'll tell you about it some other time. Hey, what's up? Yeah. What's stuff? You got my money? Two hundred dollars. What is this? What? That's all I got. Are you serious? You playing with me? Come back when you got some real money. Joke. Thief? What are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm just hungry. Enjoy being a dad? I like it. Adoption's a good fit for me. Yeah, it seems like you've been adjusting really well. <laughs> yeah, gotta enjoy the little things. Excuse me, Pastor. Dr. Michael speaking. Suicide attempt, suicide attempt. Right. You got the suture kick yes, going, right Victor? Here. All right, right. got the suture. Here. Okay. All right, I'm halfway through this one. Keep applying pressure on um, that opposite arm, please. Some shine, hulu, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hi. Is it okay if I pray here? Yes, of course. Sanctuary is this way. Oh, good work, gang. We saved two lives today. Can't believe she's pregnant. Yeah. I'm happy the baby also survived. She's been through a lot of abuse. Let's make sure she's taken care of, okay? Who Before is... I head out, um, let's go ahead and bow our heads for prayer. Lord, I thank you for the success of this operation. And I ask that you send your blessings to Linda here and the little blessing inside of her. I'm never going to be able to play piano like you. Says who? I think you'll be able to play better than me. I don't think so. I know so. Why don't you try again? Okay. Oh no, keep going. It sounds good. Mm -mm. No, I'm done. Hey, go. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Hey, you're late for dinner. Yeah. Is she okay? Uh, yeah, she'll be fine. She's just having a hard time with one of her songs, but she'll learn it. Yeah, she will. Yeah. You gonna play me something? I was just about to ask you that.
You had me thinking, just because I was black, I can be successful. Okay, yeah, that's true. No, it's not true, Marcus. That's an excuse, a bad excuse. It don't matter what color you are. Look, I don't know who you've been talking to, but they got your head all messed no, up. No, no, Marcus, nobody has been messing with my head. I know the truth. In fact, the truth set me free. That don't sound like no kind of truth to me. But when you need this, you let me know. Faster. How are you? I'm good. Uh, didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're fine. Just mention it. Listen, I was hoping that you could come to our jail ministry with the Kendall County police. I think it'd be really good if you came and shared your testimony. That sounds really great. But um, I I don't think that they would allow it. No, I. It's my background. I have a record. I've been Listen. in jail. Asha, I promise you, the inmates will connect more with you. And they'll see what Christ has done in you and <laughs> lift them up. I think there's a calling in your life for that. When? Wednesday. Unless you have work. I don't know. I'm a hairdresser down the street, but um, I think I can get off. I think it'll be really good. Thank you, Pastor. No, thank you, Tasha. If you'll excuse me. Why didn't you let me die? Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> you don't know that. Just relax. Just relax. Okay? Oh, I can't. Oh, 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 my, my baby. Your baby's also good. He's okay. All right. He's alive too. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Take a deep breath. There you go. Take a deep breath. Relax. There you go. There you go. Doctor Kravitz. Hey, Joe, that was quick. Uh, what was the emergency? Uh, there's a girl here. And she's asking for a pastor. Okay. What's her name? Linda. She tried to kill herself. And she's four months pregnant. So that was your emergency last week. Okay. Yeah. Her body's in bad shape. But I believe you can help her. Yeah, um, can I see her? Absolutely. She's in Grace House Recovery Center right now. Let's go ahead and get you scheduled for an appointment. Yeah, I'd like that. Just trust me. Her testimony will cause the inmates to change. I'll encourage them. I know it. You do realize what a huge risk I'm taking by doing this for you. I mean, the FBI is going to run a background check eventually. All right. I do have to let my captain know about this, though. I know. Okay. I'll see you then. I'm going to lose my job. You seem happy. I am very happy, girl. About what? Jesus makes me happy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, I have an appointment with uh, Linda. She's in the back room to the right. If you could sign in for me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sweet thing. 
hurt me. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You're mine. Nah, it's gonna hurt your baby. You must be the pastor. Yeah, I'm uh, Pastor Joe. Um, I know I asked for a pastor, but I just don't think I'm really ready to talk to one yet. I, I think I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Are you sure? I mean, I'm a good listener. I'm just not ready. What well, if you change your mind, right? I'll be praying for you. Listen, Joe. These things take time. Just give her a little bit. She'll come around, I promise. And when she does, I'll let you know. Okay. We'll talk soon. Bye. Hey, Pastor. How you doing? Pastor, why do you do this? It's because Jesus loves us. That's what people say. It's true. He came here and died for us so that we could live. So he's dead then? No, he, uh, he resurrected. Okay, you're lying. <laughs> I know it's confusing. You know, you should come to our Bible study and it can help you understand. Maybe. You like it. Okay. Just, if he died, and then he came back. How do you know that? Well, it's in the Bible, you know? Jesus is the only one who died and he came back. And that's the difference between our religion and every other religion, you know? Our God came back to life. For us. I know it's hard to understand. Okay. Have some water. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. I appreciate that. See you, Mary. If my parents knew I was talking to a pastor, they'd kill me. Well, we'll uh, make sure this is confidential. I'm 19 years old and three months pregnant. I, I don't know what to do. Jesus will help you. Jesus? My family is Muslim. Do they know? No. A friend of mine told me that that you could help me. You know, um, that's what we do. We, uh, we definitely can help you. I'm scared. I... I want to have an abortion. May I read you a scripture? Psalms uh, 139, verses 13 says, For you have formed my inward parts. You have covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth, your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and yet, in your book, they were all written, the days fashioned for me, when as yet, there were none of them. I don't know what to do. I know it's a hard choice, and the choice is yours to make. Let your child live. Give him a chance. He's wonderfully formed. 
It's a miracle. God always provides a way. Even when it looks so bleak. I promise. We'll be here for you. For whatever you need, the church will be there. We will be there. Tasha? Tasha. Uh, Mama's. Okay. Okay. Now, what exactly was I holding for? Nothing. I was just getting ready for bed. My hair just rough. Well, I got something for you. What is it? Gobble, gobble, baby. Mama's whiskey in here. Mm -hmm. I'll drink it later, Mama. You didn't like it? No, I'll drink it later. I'm not really thirsty right now. Thank you. I'd like to start by letting you all know that Jesus has changed me. I'm Tasha. I know a lot of y'all probably know me. I've been in jail far too many times. I was a madam. I danced in clubs. I sold drugs, did drugs. I hurt people. I spent 20 years doing the devil's work. I thought I was gonna die in here. I thought I was gonna die in this jail. But one day, I accepted Jesus. He came to me and I accepted him. And now my life is abundant with love. And that's what I want. I want that for all of you because I'm so satisfied now in Him. God has more in store for all of you. And I want you to see that like I saw. Hi, are you new? I'm London. What's your name? Did you just run for the math test? No, I didn't. Guys, what? What do you like the math test? Yes. Look at the way she dresses. It's disgusting. Just ignore them. I'm Tammy. I'm really hungry. Do you want half of my lunch? Okay. What type of food do you like? I like hot dogs. We're gonna be good friends. Hello? Hey, Michelle, how you doing? I can't talk right now. Well, I just wanted to let you know that we've been praying for you. I don't need your prayers. Well, listen, God has an answer. Have you ever considered adoption? Listen, I'll think about it. I gotta go. So how was your day? It was good. There's a new girl. She from out of town? Kind of. She she's different. What do you mean? Well, I don't want to gossip, but her clothes are dirty and she smells. She's she's just different. You know, when there's people like that, you gotta be nice to them. You know, you should hang out with them, invite them to youth group. That's what Jesus would do. I don't think it's gonna work out like that. But, you know what my favorite thing is? Ice cream? No, hanging out with you. I love hanging out with you too, daughter. You want some? But now that you mention it, All right. ice cream I would knew be it. good. Oh, 
All right, slow down, slow down. There's no race. It's delicious. See, I knew you loved ice cream more than me. It's all over your face. So ice cream's your competition? I guess. I mean, you are second. What do you mean? Jesus is first? I guess I can't be mad at that. That's a good girl. I raised a good daughter. Mom's still better than you, though. If Jesus is number one, and I'm number two... Mom's up there with Jesus. That, you can't do that. That's sacrilegious. It's my rules. I gotta teach you about Jesus a little bit. Mercy upon me, O oh God, according to your loving kindness for my sin, for I acknowledge my transgressions. Hey, Amen. Got your drink? Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. What is it? It's your favorite drink. Drink up. It's good. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, take another sip, Eddie. Mm, let me have it. Wash me thoroughly. My son. My face before me and against you. Are you disappointed? Disappointed by what? I thought by now I'd have some news for you. What kind of news? A baby. Don't worry about that. When we're ready, God will provide. And besides, we're already blessed with adoption. That's what I love about you. You always trust God. I love you. I love you more. Tasha? Tasha, baby. Well, it's my money. What are you doing, man? Look, come on, just relax. I'm getting it right now. Look, here. What's this? That's, that's what I owe you, man. What you mean? That's what I owe you. That's the money. I'll be back. She's about three months pregnant. That's what I thought. Well, how soon can you take care of it? Can't do it this week, maybe next week? The sooner the better. I'm gonna need more money this time. Well, this one's different than Linda. I need to forgive her, Jesus. You said 70 times seven, Lord. You said 70 times seven. I need to forgive her, Lord, Jesus. 
Tasha, you awake? Did you sleep good? Yeah, Mama. I slept perfect because of you. Because of me? Mama, you stole my money. Are you accusing me? You stole my money again, Mama. Why? You know, no, no, no. I forgive you. You forgive me? I, I forgive you. I, for, I forgive you. For you forgive me for what? I came in here to wake you up. I don't need all of this. You are ungrateful, little something. So, Tammy's pregnant. Who's going to take care of it this time? Who do you think's going to take care of it? Gino. Can you get me more whiskey? Really? Would you focus for a second? And also, we need to go find Linda. You told me she killed herself. Yeah, well, she's not dead, and they've got her in a halfway house, and we... Would you... Hey. Put it down for a second and listen to me. Focus. All right, she's in a halfway house. I'm not going to be able to get you more whiskey if our moneymaker is in the halfway house. Would you focus right now? We need to go I find Linda. I need a drink. Shut up. Shut your mouth and get focused right now because we're going to lose out on it. It helps me focus. What's wrong with you? Hi, Pastor. Hey, David. How you doing? Doing good. You having fun over there? Yeah. How's your dad? He's doing good. He's coming to church. On Sunday? Yes. That's really good. I'll see you there too, right? Mm-hmm. Bye, buddy. Hey. How you doing? Pastor, can you pray for me to have my own place? Yeah, I'll, I'll pray. My family's just living in so much sin. It's too much temptation. I understand. Maybe you should uh, bring him to church. It would take a miracle. Maybe you could pay him. <laughs> that might work. <laughs> You hear that? Sounds like my breath. She may dress like a woman, but inside she's really a man. And y'all gonna hear me. I ain't leaving until somebody hear what I got to say. Tasha's a man. There you go. Tasha's a man. Just why are you doing this? What you mean why I got it? Why am I doing that truth? Stop it! I ain't stopping nothing. I'm telling them the truth. You need to know the truth. It doesn't matter. Listen. All that matters is she has a new life in Christ. I don't want to hear nothing about no new life in Christ. Bless me. It's supposed to be me and you. I'm your brother, remember? Don't touch me. That's the man right there. Hey, all that matters is Jesus has given her a second chance. I don't want to hear that. Don't give me that Jesus talk. You don't know her like I do. You don't know him like I do. Why don't you tell him? Tell him, Tasha. Oh, now you ain't got nothing to say? Tell him, Tasha. Alright guys, if you did the homework, you should know this. So again, slow equals rise over run. What three values are you left with? Anybody? <laughs> guys, what's going on? Where's everybody? Tammy. Tammy. We can speak to you after class. Alright guys. She smells. She needs a shower. The other day when the fire came. Guys, on. leave her alone. She can hear you. Y equals negative two. Yeah. I need to talk to you immediately. Yeah, it sounds serious. I am. I'm at the jail. Yeah, I'll come right now. Don't worry about it. I'm, I was on my way out anyways. Please come quickly. Okay. All right.
probably better we do this in here. Is everything okay? How well do you know Tasha? I know she's that good person. Really? You really think so? Because look at this. She's a man. Look. She's gone by several names in her life, but her birth certificate says Howard Johnson. The last time they picked her up and arrested her, she gave them the name Tasha. Do you trust Jesus in me? Uh, of course I do, but I don't, I don't know what that has to do with this. Do you believe in dreams? I, I guess. Sometimes, why? God gave me a dream a few nights ago, and it all makes sense now. He said, Tasha is my precious daughter. God sees her as a woman. That just seems so weird. How do you, how do you know that? By trusting the Holy Spirit. I know it's difficult, but she's changed. Pastor, she's been in jail over 45 times. 45. <laughs> and I know that through prayer, she's a new woman. And she's not gonna go back here. <laughs> you actually believe that? Yes, I do. Right, if you really believe that, you better do something, and you better do something quickly. Yeah. Thank you, Dwayne. Have a good night, man. I'll see you in church. What are you still doing here? Mr. Perez wants to see me. Hey, what are you still doing here? It's late. I was planning to meet a student. Is everything okay? I don't know. Um, she's strange. Are there problems at home? I believe so. Her behavior shows that something's not right. Well, who is she? Uh, Tammy Cardellini. Yeah, I remember her. She's been in and out of several schools and her dad. Interesting. She left behind this drawing. Um, a little disturbing. And she falls asleep in class. A uh, pretty girl, but very sad. Yeah, let's keep an eye on her a little while longer. We may need to contact the authorities. Okay, sure. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. She's just been through so much, you know? So how can we help her? We just have to pray. God, give me wisdom. Father God, we lift up Tasha. Lord God, no weapon formed against her shall prosper. Lord God, give her faith, give her strength. So you just, just stopped everything, just like that? Look, by his strength. Wow. Your pastor is calling you. You. You're welcome. My pastor's calling me. <laughs> My pastor never calls me. See, I got a good pastor. <laughs> you too. <laughs> hey, pastor. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. 
Sure, when? All right. No, no. Okay, see you soon. Hey, T, why aren't you at work? What's this? Where are you going? What do you want, Marcus? You need some money or something? No, not today. Seems like every time I see you, y'all asking for something. Look, T, I see you, okay? I see everything you've been doing, it just, it seems like you really changed. I have. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's good. Look, where are you going now? Um, on my way to meet with the pastor and then probably Bible study after that. Bible study, huh? Yeah. Can I go with you? I had a dream about you last night, and it was unusual. Well, tell me about your dream, Pastor. You were sitting and ministering to these women, and I heard God's voice tell me, Tasha is my precious daughter. And you know, I'm a, I, I, it's been ministering to me all day, but God put an emphasis on daughter, and I don't, and I'm not sure why. Pastor, your dream is the answer to my prayers. What do you mean? I was born with a hermaphrodite condition. I have both male and female parts. I was born October 14, 1958. My mother was only 15 years old. She was a prostitute and my dad was a pimp. When they first saw me, it scared when I was 14 months and my dad it took me to my grandmother's. He just left me there in the living room. And from that day forward, she cared for me. She fed me. She changed my diapers. She took me to church every Sunday. This is the day you believe it. This is the day. or white, or yellow, or brown skin in the eyes of God. When I was 13, my body started changing. All I knew was my male parts, and then my female parts started growing. And then as I got older, I just, I just hated going to school. Oh, I hated it. Brown, did you come out of the Guys, leave him alone. Go. Come on. Come on, three. Sister. Everybody knew me as a boy. I dressed like a boy. I tried to, I tried to hide. My body just started to look different. They would tease me. Going to school was a nightmare. And the only people that accepted me was the homosexuals. My breasts continued to grow and I tried my best to hide them. You could have taken care of it when she was an infant. Now, it's going to be a long process. It's very costly. And then after all the doctors, we went to see the pastor. The pastor. He is cursed. He cannot get saved. He should have never been born. He is from the devil. Can you imagine how I felt, pastor? For someone to tell you that you're cursed. <laughs> No! No! Please don't go. Please. Don't go. And that day forward, I had no more desire to be good.
started dressing like a woman because I felt like a woman. When I was 18, I started forging checks. I went to jail. I did drugs. What's wrong? Are you being a good girl? Mm, I'm good. Does the good girl want some more? That's why I'm here. Give me a kiss. Now go inside and I'll bring you some more. Go on, go. Sweet dreams. I became a madam. Y'all comfortable? Get up! What's going on? What's happening? Y'all supposed to be out there working because you owe me. Okay, I just don't feel good. I don't care how you feel. Your job is to make my money. You understand? Do you speak the English? Do you understand? Hello? Do you hear me talking to you? We'll fix that. Some funny? Do you think something's funny? You got places to be, ladies. Go. Let's go. Dealing gangs, mafias. Get out! Where is my money? Where is my money? Huh? Do you think you're gonna play me? You think you're gonna play Tasha? Nobody stiff Tasha! But nobody stiff Tasha! Nobody! Get out! I was in all kinds of relationships. It didn't matter who it was with. Men, women. I lived a perverted life. <laughs> Thief? What are you doing? Sorry, I'm just hungry. Everyone is hungry. So lucky day, get up. Get up. Come on, me. Drop There you go, ladies. Can I get you anything else, or is this all? All right. You know you can chew your food, right? So what's your story? Um. Can you, can you help me? I'm running from my stepdad. And he sells me to men. How old are you? 17. You can come work with me. Doing what? 
I'm just whatever I tell you, nothing bad. I'll take care of you. Where's my money? Where's the rest? That's all I owe you. Where's the rest? Do something to it. I didn't think so. Where's the rest? Happens more than you Come on, let's go. Daddy's here. What the heck? Hey, relax. I'm her dad. Wait a minute. He's not my dad. She's got a mental issue. Relax. I'm her dad. Everybody just enjoy your food. Let's go. Dang. Jack! Tasha. Tasha. Look, if you want that, I ain't got it right now. No, no. Huh? My uncle wants to buy a girl. Oh, really? Yeah, really. What about that one? That one? She cute, right? Oh, yeah. I think you'll, you'll be pretty happy with that select. I think so, too. 20 bucks. All right. What do you want? I want her. What, do you want to buy her? You heard me. I said I want her, didn't I? Huh. I don't think I'm ready for all that. Well, when, when you decide you're ready, you let me know. Last year, I went to jail for stabbing my partner. It was self-defense, but I was charged with 85 years. The only witness I had was my mama. She wouldn't testify. She was scared of getting caught. She didn't want to snitch. I mean, I knew why. She'd been in jail for a hundred times, but I just, I felt so betrayed. I swear to God, Mama. Mama, you pay for this. I was in solitary confinement. I was just screaming, screaming at God. Why am I here? Do you know who I am? I am Tasha. I am a good person. When I got it, I help him. I take care of my people. Ah! Ah! And God. told me I was on my way to hell. I think something's wrong with her. Yeah. Get saved. He's on the devil. I was so scared and I knelt down on the floor and I just started praying. I prayed to God with every fiber of my being. I prayed to him. I repented all my sins, every last one of them. And then he saved me. And then God spoke. He spoke to me. And he told me that my body, my body would be healed. My beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased, I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. God chose Jesus. The Bible says that he was 
the, the stone that the builders rejected, he became the chief cornerstone. Isn't that amazing how sometimes we can reject something that God will accept and say it's perfect and it's beautiful? And here's the crazy thing. I think about it this way. Have you ever received a gift that you didn't like? Hey, yes. Uh, my sister, she uh, needs surgery, so there's nothing... Okay. Hey, Pastor, I'm glad you answered. Um, I have a friend who needs surgery, and I remember you said that you had a friend in Mexico who's a doctor. Um, do you have his number? Hey. Hi, Mama. You're late. It's good to see you, too. Daddy? What were you doing out there making money? <laughs> now, Mama, you know everything ain't about money. Oh, it is always about money. That's such a sad story. Tasha's an overcomer. Revelations 3.12 says that heaven is for the overcomers. Pastor? Hey, Tasha. Sister Rose, is, she's, she's gonna go with me in Mexico. Thank you, Pastor. Don't worry about anything, okay? I, I know it's very expensive. I... Don't worry about it, God is good. He wants you to be free, okay? Okay. Just back up and have a good morning, okay? Thank you, Pastor. Where are you going? I'm going to Mexico, Mom. What are you going to do that for? You going to meet up with the Mexican Mafia or something? No. You know that's my past, Mama. I feel free. I feel so happy. I can tell. Look, if you came to Jesus, you could feel free. Oh, no. I'm good. Jesus, I'm good. <laughs> Jesus will make you happy, Mama. Is she trying to convert you? And what's wrong if I am? Keep hmm? this to yourself, girl. But I love you both. That's the only reason why. Jack, when are you going to be back? Mm -hmm. Do you think you have uh, some money that you can give us before you go? Why? Chicken buy drugs with it? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. I just need a little bit of money to take care of some things. That's all. <laughs> You go to church on Sunday? Coffee off. Right? We'll be at church. There's my rat. You going to Mexico with a white girl? Yes, Mama. It's my friend. She looks like a good woman. Hey, now. Watch it. You know you can't trust those white folks. Our people are people. Hey, Sunday. Don't be late. Are you nervous? Yeah, actually. But... I think my parents are more nervous than I am. I sure they are. Well, not really because of the surgery, because I didn't really tell them about it. I think they're more nervous I got in a van with a white woman. Are they nervous about me? <laughs> yeah, don't take it personal, though. We're kind of raised to not trust white people. That's too bad, you know? <laughs> There's no right way to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's OK, but in the God's eyes, we're all of the same color. So. What do you think about Jesus? What do you want to know about that for? Look, if there is no God, there is no way Tasha could have changed like that. All I know is that I need more stuff. <laughs> I have done everything to support your habit. I've lied to the cops. I've stole, robbed banks, hid dead bodies in oh. the tub, mm -hmm. sold drugs. We got caught so many times, didn't we? 
Mm-hmm. We need to give all this up. Let's just let all this poison go. Look, I always feel tormented. Nothing makes me happy. I'm miserable. Marcus, that's just because you need more, more drink and more, more of that good stuff. No. No, Ma, I don't need that. I need what Tasha has. What does she have? Jesus. Mm-mm. Father God, we lift up Tasha like God, no weapon formed against her shall prosper, Lord. Give her faith, give her strength. Give her strength in this time of need, Lord God. We don't know everything going on, Lord God, but your light will reveal and heal. What are you doing here? Can we talk? Why do you care? It's what Jesus would do. Jesus. I just want to help. Do you think that Jesus could help my sister? Where is she? She's with my mom. Well, if she's with your mom, I'm sure she's fine. I'm... My mom is an alcoholic. I don't want to hear anything that you have to say. Look, I know you want to keep this baby, but that just ain't going to happen. This is Principal Walker. May I please speak with Andrew Hernandez? Yeah, I'm going to report a possible child neglect situation. Yes, I'll hold. When I was 14, my dad died. And my mom brought home this man. She started drinking with him all the time. After that, and while she would be at work, he would bring awful men into our home. Man, you need to pay me some more money. She's been in there a long time. This enough for you? It's just business. Same time tomorrow. Don't be late. And he said I could never tell anyone because he would kill me and my sister and my mom. But I don't want to go with him. Just need to listen. Otherwise. Please don't hurt my sister. You do what you're told. You understand? Yes. Help me! 
no. I've escaped so many times. Never to do this again. You're mine, you hear me? Ah! Let me go! Please! You! Let go! Please let go of me! I just want to go! Leave me alone! Let me alone! But all that, it's over now. You're safe. What about my sister? Do you think that they could find her? Help her? Do you know anything that could help lead us there? Which road it's on? Which part of town it's in? I know it's on the north side of town. It's in what kind of house it is? It's a rock house. It's tan rock, it's a big house, beautiful, has a big front yard, it has a flag, an American flag. It's hidden by trees so you can't see it from the roads. Behind the house is a shed near the barn and that's where they take all the little kids. Father God, we ask that you will be done in their life. Lord God, please save all these children in this house. There's so much going on here. Lord God, we know by your will we can find them. Jesus, I ask that you, you help them to hear and open her mind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You ever read the Bible? Um... I've been thinking about it. Psalms is my favorite. This is Psalms 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lay down in green pasture, and he restores my soul. Wait. Shepherd's Way. That's what it is. I remember seeing the sign. On the north side? On the north side. There's um, not many houses there. No. I, I think we could really find it if we could if we could just go to that highway. Some members of my church are on the force. Okay, I'm gonna call them right now. Okay, if you'd like to come with me, I can talk to the staff here and see if we can set them up. Okay. You yes. Do yes, I'd like to come with you. All right, you wait right here. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Maybe we shouldn't have called the police. You just have to trust God, all right? There's just a lot of kids there. I'm just kind of worried that... I just don't want anyone to get hurt. No. They're gonna handle it. I promise. I'm scared. I want to go home. It'll be okay. It's okay, girls. It's all right. Okay. Shut up. It's okay. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, no. Shut your mouth. 
them up. We're from the sheriff's office. We're here to help you, okay? We've got about 12 kids. We're going to have y'all stand up here in a second. We're going to get out of the room, okay? Is everybody okay? Everybody okay? Everybody okay? Okay, we're going to get Okay. Yeah, no, stand high. We're gonna get out of here. Alright guys, follow us. Okay. Clear. Forward. Okay, come with me. You need me. Bitch, don't you forget. forget. You need me. Look at the wall. Look at the wall. Don't you forget, Teddy. Keep your hands up, ma'am. Stay against the wall. Don't stay there. Keep your hands up where I can see them. All clear. Stop right there. Stop right there. That's my sister. All right, go ahead. Nobody's gonna hurt us anymore, okay? I swear to God, I swear I just couldn't do it. The words you read resonated in my ears. I, I couldn't get them out of my head. You made the right choice. I'm so happy for you. I... Would you two take care of my son? I, I just know you guys would make great parents for him. Thank you. <laughs> I do have one request. I, I'd like to give him his name. Would you... Would you name him Andrew? Hmm. That's a wonderful name. Of course. <laughs> what are your plans afterwards? I, I just got accepted to NYU. It's incredible. Like I said, God, he makes a way for everything. And God knows we want a bigger family. <laughs> so this is the answer to everyone's prayers. We'll take good care of your son. Thank you. Hey, are you sure they have it all handled in there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you guys need any more, just let me know. I'll make sure the inmates get them. Um, there's the donations for the inmates. If there's anything else I can do, just let me know. Thanks. Hey, I, uh, I gotta tell you, I, I've seen some real change in the inmates, and I can't think of any other reason than the gospel. Praise the Lord. Listen, I'm always looking to help. If there's anything else that opens up, you let me know, okay? As soon as there's an opening, you will be the first to know. Okay. Thank hey, you. uh, I meant to ask you, how is, uh, How's Tasha? She's actually in Mexico right now. You said be quick, right? I did. All right, Dwayne. <laughs> so I hear Linda and Tammy are enjoying the visit you and Violet are making the Grace House. They're really great girls. You probably already know this, but we're going to adopt. Yes, I uh, figured you folks would be heading in that direction. Are we going to have to start calling you George Mueller? I pray so. Your turn. You got All right. Human trafficking needs to stop. It's happening here in our backyard. 70,000 are human trafficked every year in Texas. 300,000 in America. If we all open our Bibles to you, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 11 through 12. Deliver those who are drawn toward death and hold back those stumbling to the slaughter. If you say, surely we do not know this, does not he who weighs the heart consider it? 
He who keeps your soul, does he not know it? And will he not render to each man according to his deeds? During the time of Abraham Lincoln, he gathered all the pastors together to fight slavery, and he put an end to it. He gathered all the churches, and with God's power, he ended slavery. Martin Luther King, he himself a pastor, got all the Christians and the churches together, and he fought for civil rights, and he won his battle. Human trafficking is nothing different than modern day slavery, and something has to be done. If the churches can come together, we can fight this, and we can win. With the help of the leadership of this country, and with prayer, we can win. Our brothers and sisters live in bondage. And if we ourselves have a bondage, we need to be set free. If there's anyone here today who wants to give the life to the Lord, I ask you, please, come forward. Please. Amen. 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 Have you guys come up here. You guys would all like to stretch out your hands and repeat after me. Say, Jesus, Jesus forgive, me forgive me for all of my sins. For all my sins. Wash, me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. I open my heart, open my heart. and I let you into my heart. Forgive me for everything. I accept you I accept as you my Lord and Savior. Lord and Savior. In, Jesus name we pray. in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Tasha? Hey, welcome. C come here. My body is here. Look, look, your family, they're here. <laughs> Amen. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. My God, Mama said me come seven. I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you. Would you, would you mind sharing what, what's been going on with everything in your life? This woman has been through a lot. She's found her way to Christ. First, I'd like to thank God. I want to thank Him for saving me. Somebody like me can be saved. I have done so much in my life. So much wrong. I've hurt so many people. Drugs, crime, trafficking. You don't know how bad I was. Pastor. I want to pray. I want to pray for all the people that are hurt. Tasha. All my victims. Just please, I got to pray for all the people that are trapped, all the people that are hurt. I just need to pray for them. Pastor, please, I need forgiveness. Father, we ask that you, you find the lost and the broken heart. You lift up all the people in Tasha's life. She's hurt, Lord God. We ask that you save them. We ask that you find them and you deliver them, Lord God. Your will be done in their life. Protect them. Guide them home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I don't know if you remember me. 
Oh, I am so sorry for trying to traffic you. Just please, please forgive me. Of course, of course, I forgive you. going on here but I promise you if you ask God will hear you and he will forgive you Amen. You've just watched a very powerful film that touches on one of the most sensitive issues in America, the issue of abortion. My name is Alan Parker. I'm the president of the Justice Foundation. I've represented over 3,000 women at the United States Supreme Court in front of the court briefs, telling the court that abortion hurts women. The most common kind of abortion is adult parents or guardians forcing a minor teenager to have an abortion against her will. That's illegal in every state. The second most common is an adult man forcing another woman or his woman to abort his baby uh, because maybe he doesn't want to pay child support or he doesn't want another child. That's illegal in every state. And the third is human trafficking or pimping and the, the trafficker or the pimp is forcing her to have an abortion, so she stays in the business. It's a dirty business. The Justice Foundation is willing to help you if you or someone you know is being forced or coerced or just unduly pressured to have an abortion against the woman's will, contact the Justice Foundation. We can provide you legal tools where you can stop an abortion or we can help the people directly or get them local resources and lawyers to help them stop forced abortion in your area. Contact the Justice Foundation at 1-866-4-OUTCRY. And if you are considering an abortion and you need help, you want to know what the real consequences of abortion are, you want to know your alternatives to abortion, then contact the National or the International Helpline at 866-482-LIFE. And let me tell you one other alternative. Every state in this country has what's called a safe haven law. And under that law, you don't have to kill a baby to be free from the burden of childcare. Why do women get abortions? Usually it's for one of only two kinds of reasons. Many of them feel, I can't take care of this baby at this time of my life. Others simply say, I don't want to take care of a baby at this time. But for whatever reason, if a woman thinks she can't take care of that baby, she can transfer responsibility of the child to her state within a set period of time under state law. It's justice for the baby, let the child live. It's mercy for the woman, if you can't take care of the baby, someone else will. Let's move forward to a new day where we give life to the children, we help the women and prevent them from being injured by abortion, and we help the million people who are waiting to adopt healthy children. That's the loving solution to the whole problem of abortion. Thank you.
Well, hello, my name is Charles Flowers. I'm the senior pastor of Faith Outreach Center International here in the city of San Antonio. And I also lead an organization called San Antonio in Black, White, and Brown. It is the number one space in San Antonio where influencers from every race, position, and perspective come together with other influencers to do two things. One is to build trusting relationships, and secondly, it is to collaborate on both the value and the implementation of principles. It's principles around which we agree, and principles are colorblind. And so many of the divisions are crossed when we stick with principle. As in this movie, uh, the principle of truth, the principle of love, the principle of walking by faith, and the principle of kindness transcends all of those other things that would seek to divide and cancel us out. It is certainly worthy of your viewing and it's worthy of you telling somebody else that there is a film that actually resonates with what is in your heart. Thank you.